To provide your pet with a comfortable trimming experience, your Petty Paws has been designed to automatically stop or slow down if too much pressure is applied to your pet's nail. Be patient. Take your time and remove thin layers with each pass. You and your pet will be pleased with the results. Congratulations on your recent purchase of Petty Paws, the precision rotary file designed to make trimming your pet's nails safer, easier, and more fun. This video will ensure that you know how to properly use and maintain your Petty Paws unit, so you and your pet can enjoy safe and easy nail filing for years to come. First, you'll need to install batteries. You'll need two fresh C alkaline batteries. Now, unscrew the battery cap on the bottom of the unit counterclockwise. You'll want to insert them into the Petty Paws positive side down, as indicated on the side of the unit. Next, securely replace the battery cap on the bottom of the Petty Paws. Now you're ready to trim your pet's nails safely and easily. When using Petty Paws for the first few times, you'll want to get your pet familiar with the sight and sound of the product. Because you'll be using Petty Paws instead of your old nail clipper, your pet may initially be startled. But don't worry, with some time and patience, your pet will grow to become comfortable with Petty Paws and enjoy having their nails groomed regularly. Remember, you must know the temperament of your pet before introducing Petty Paws to them. Be careful not to push them too far, too fast. It's important to note that you must only use Petty Paws on an animal you are familiar with. Do not put your safety at risk. If an animal becomes aggressive, stop using Petty Paws immediately. Now we'll go over some easy techniques to get your pet comfortable with Petty Paws as fast as possible. Step 1. Bring your pet and the Petty Paws into a room where they're most comfortable. While the unit is turned off, show the Petty Paws to your pet and allow them to examine it. Try giving a treat and or praise at this time as a means of positive reinforcement. Step 2. Repeat Step 1, but this time, turn on the Petty Paws and continue to praise your pet. Step 3. Once your pet is comfortable with the sound of the Petty Paws, gently try and file one nail for no more than two seconds. Immediately praise your pet and give them a treat. After a short break, you may now try to file a second nail. Step 4. If your pet allows you to file one or two nails at a time, they're doing great, and you may now slowly try a full Petty Paws pedicure. Remember to always praise your pet during this process until they're completely comfortable with Petty Paws. If your pet continues to resist, even after extensive training, you may need to be more firm. Step 1. Hold your pet securely while showing them that there's nothing to fear. Have your pet lie on his or her stomach with their paws out in front of them. Step 2. Reach under your pet's front paw while resting your body on top of your pet. Remember, this is meant to keep your pet stable, so be very careful not to put any excess weight on your pet. Step 3. Begin the Petty Paws pedicure slowly while stabilizing your pet. Don't allow them to resist, and they'll eventually realize that Petty Paws is not hurting them and that it can, in fact, be quite enjoyable. It's important to maintain control of your pet during this process, and remember that you are in charge. The more assertive you are, the more comfortable your pet will become. You can use this firm technique for the front or the back paws. Simply turn your pet around to trim the back paws. Remember, this process can take time and patience, but once your pet becomes comfortable, they will love getting their nails trimmed with Petty Paws. Now that your pet is comfortable with Petty Paws, let's go over the best way to use Petty Paws on your pet to ensure a proper and gentle filing. Step 1. For all nail trimming sessions, make sure you're in a place where your pet is most at ease, such as a favorite bed or couch. 2. Make sure that the orange protective cap is screwed on securely before filing. This will hold your pet's nail in place and collect the nail shavings that will come off of your pet's nail. Step 3. Now, grasp your pet's paw in between two fingers, as shown, to extend and support each nail as you file. Step 4. Gently insert a nail into the opening in the orange protective cap and only file each nail for no longer than 4 seconds. You never want to file off too much of your pet's nail. For the first few uses, be careful to only file enough to shape and smooth your pet's nails. You never want to file off too much of your pet's nail. In later sessions, your pet's nail will adjust, and you'll be able to reduce the length of the nail more significantly. Step 5. 
Remember to always shape and smooth the nail in a round motion, filing both the top and bottom evenly on each nail. Step 6. Repeat steps 3 through 5 for each paw, and your pet's nails will now be perfectly groomed. After you and your pet have had several initial petty paws pedicures, you can try and get closer to the quick. Remember, the quick is the area of the nail that contains the blood supply and is easily damaged by traditional nail clippers. The petty paws gives you enough control to go slowly enough to gauge how close you want to get to the quick. On lighter-nailed animals, the quick appears as a darker area in the center of the nail. If you can't see the quick easily, you'll know you're getting close when you encounter a softer area of the nail while filing. The quick is right behind this layer. After each filing session, the quick will begin to recede more and more, and you'll eventually be able to trim your pet's nails even shorter. Now that you're done trimming your pet's nails, turn off the unit and empty the filings. Do this by first removing the batteries to ensure your safety, then unscrew the orange protective cap. Dump the filings from the cap into the trash and screw the orange protective cap back on. Wipe your petty paws with a dry cloth and store it in a safe, dry location, away from children. If you won't be using your petty paws for an extended period of time, leave the batteries out of the unit. But if you plan on using your petty paws regularly, it is safe to reinsert the batteries. From time to time, you may notice the filing head of your petty paws will become dull. It's important to change the filing head when this happens to ensure a proper and gentle filing for your pet. To do this, follow these simple steps. Step 1. Turn off petty paws and remove the batteries before opening the orange protective cap. Step 2. Unscrew the orange protective cap. Step 3. Hold the filing head firmly between your fingers and remove the single screw on the top of the filing head with a Phillips head screwdriver. Step 4. Remove the old filing head and replace it with a new one. Do not reuse an old filing band. Step 5. Insert and tighten screw on the top of the wheel. Do not over-tighten this screw to ensure proper function of your petty paws unit. Step 6. Screw on the orange protective cap and reinsert the batteries. Your petty paws is now ready to file your pet's nails easily and gently once again. We hope you and your pet truly enjoy using petty paws for years to come.